Hey, this is Jackie and I'm just going to show you how to set up your image in Blender. Um, so you can see we've got an image at the moment and there's a cube that is uh, being stretched and it's the right size for the image and if we look at it from the top um, you'll be able to see that we've got the top view as well and it's the right size. There's the cube, just pressing Z so that you can see they're both scaled correctly. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through the steps. Um, you can feel free to pause the video um, whenever you need to. So I'm going to start a new file, so I'll do command N, start up my new file, and it's really important that first of all you look at your image um, from the top and that you are in orthographic mode. So I press 7 to get to the top, 5 to switch it to orthographic. Now I'm ready to add my image, so I'm going to do shift and A, and um, actually no, I'm not going to add it this way, I'm going to get rid of that, press escape. Um, if you press N, you get a properties panel at the side, and I'm going to click on one of these that says background images. It's down here. So check the box first, then you'll need to open up that little drop down arrow, click add image, and then underneath that, you need to set your axes for your image, and you need to set your Z axes to top, and then you're ready to open your image. Now hopefully on your desktop you will have taken a screen grab of the image that we're going to use for the top and named it top. So I'll click on it now, click open image. So it's this plain view from the top, you can get it from the PowerPoint. Um, so that's set to the top. Um, so the next thing I need to do is to repeat the steps um, and add in the side image. One thing I could do first though is move this um, so that it is sort of sitting with the edge on the y-axis on the green line. Um, so to move, if you go back to this little area where you are adding background images, you see you've got a new dialog box now that says top.png. Um, just look down, 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 and you can see you've got options to adjust the size, and here you can adjust the position. So I'm just going to click and drag, and I'm going to move it so that the edge of the image is on this line. Um, it's going to be really handy when we start mirroring your image and your objects, so really important to do that. Okay, so I guess we're ready for the next image, so you need to click Add Image again. I'm going to scroll down, and remember you need to set your view first of all, uh, set, sorry, set your image axis. Um, this time we're going to go for the X axis, and we're going to set it on the right. And now you're ready to open your next image, and if you go back to your desktop, hopefully you have saved the side image. Remember you can get these from the PowerPoint. Open image and just scroll down. Is there anything else I need to change? Not for the moment. Now to see your side image you'll need to look at your um, model from the side. So side view is three. So there's my image sitting there nicely. Um, and the next thing to do is to actually start moving this uh, shape around um, so that it's starting to fit your image. Then we can sort of subdivide it and start making it into the plane. So the first thing I'll do is S for scale on the Y axis and just drag out this box so that it fits the image. You'll notice as I go round, you see my cursor sort of appears and disappears. That's fine, just to let you know that's happening. And um, so scale it so that it's the length that you need. And then if we look at it from seven on the top, you notice, well, the image that we had on top is far too large. So if we go back to our dialog box on the side here, uh, we'll look at the top image and what we can do is scale it down under this little option here for size. So I'm going to scale that and scale it down, 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 down. And now I can move it across with that setting that I played around with earlier. So let's move that back across. Now I can't tell if that's actually hitting the green line so I'm going to press Z for wireframe um, so that I can see through the image and now I can position this and sort of tweak it just a little bit just to get it to stick. Great, so you should have then your cube um, that should now look like a rectangle extruded, uh, or sorry I should say scaled on the Y axis and that's the view from the top and then if I press 3 that should be the view from the side so now we're ready to start um, modelling 